today we are going to take a look at how we can create an abstract cloth in Playstation inside of Maya. So let's get started. So I'm going to take a simple sphere or you can also take a simple platonic. And uh, by using a platonic what we are going to do is basically create some abstract looking effect. By that I mean if we take a simple sphere, if I take a simple platonic and make a subdivision of 2. And let's increase the size to something like 2 or maybe 3 if you want. So we have something like this and if you look at the overall topology here, this is a pretty standard here. We won't be able to create some abstract looking lines or rims if you want to say like that. And with this what we can do is create some custom edges with this by using some alignments here. So that's why we are using platonic but you are feel free to use any primitive that you want. So I'm going to go with platonic here. And in the platonic you have a couple of options like subdivision mode you can switch it to triangles or quads as well. So I'm going to keep it to quads and uh, I think I'm going to go for something like a 2 subdivision here. And uh, from here what I'm going to do is basically go to the edge mode here and select any edges you want just randomly. So I'm going to I'm going to turn off the grid here first. I think it's getting in the way and let's start off by simply selecting some edges here. And you'll see in a second why we are doing this. So I'm going to create like this make sure the edges are connecting somewhere so the cloud doesn't go all the way around somewhere like that so i'm going to select this and this so you have some smaller parts and then you have some bigger parts and i think that will just give the overall randomized look when we create the overall rim look so i think the overall look is pretty good so from here what we are going to do is basically go to the edit mesh or mesh tool sorry and from here you are going to select the offset edge but with the offset edge you have one op one problem and the problem is that you can only select one edge so if i go to any edge here and if i select this as you can see it only selects one edge so what we are going to do is basically go to edit mesh here and select bevel and as you can see it gives you this bevelly look and i'm going to reduce the amount of fraction we have to something like 0.1 and we don't need any segments so i'm going to keep it to like that so from here I'm going to go to my face mode, click on one face, hold shift and select the all faces and you can also go to select and similar that will select the whole rim here and from here I'm going to hit control shift I on my keyboard and hit delete. So this is what we have. So as you can see we have left a couple of these edges here. So I'm going to manually select those edges here. Right, so I think the rest is good. I'm going to hit delete and we had some problem over there as well. So while selecting the similar, I guess Maya had some issue identifying the overall polygons. So I think the rest is good now. So this is what we have. So I'm going to go to object mode, hit a bit of extrude here. This extrude just give a little bit of depth here. And I think this much is good enough. So object mode. So this is what we have right now. So this will be our collider, which is going to be our passive collider. I think we missed one spot over here, but I think that's okay. If you want, if you come up with some kind of issue like this, what you can do is simply go to the face mode here and delete the faces. And from here you can simply select this and go to mesh and fill hole. And from here go to mesh, fill hole. And there you go. So now you have perfect look. So this is going to be our passive collider. So I'm going to take another platonic which will be our cloth and I'm going to make the radius to 2 and subdivision to to as well so let's make the overall radius to we want the radius just small enough to fit inside of the overall rim so i'm going to make this 2.9 since the overall case that we had over here was around 3 radius so i'm going to make this 2.9 just so it's kind of inside so once we have this i'm going to select this guy and i'm going to go to mesh and smooth this out just so we have cleaner look and this is what we have so let's go to the fx menu here before that let's rename this so this is our cloth this is our collider and from here I'm going to go to end cloth passive collider and this will be my end cloth so if I play this now you will see the cloth falls as usual so instead what I'm going to do is basically go to my nucleus here and reduce the gravity to zero so that means the cloth is going to stay at the same place now because we don't have anything to pull it down so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to select this cloth, go to cloth shape. You can change preset if you want. I'm going to keep it to default for now. 
and the one thing that we are looking for is the overall pressure here and this is going to be doing all the magic of the overall inflation so i'm going to increase the pressure here to one and if i play this now instantly you will see something going on right not enough but something so i'm going to increase the pressure to three if i play this now right, so now you see something like that i'm going to make this to maybe like five until i see a big movement all right so we are getting somewhere i'm going to make this to something like a 10 and from here go back play this again all right so we see some inflation going on the overall cloth has a, a kind of a trouble regarding the overall playback because i don't know but this is a pretty small topology i'm going to reduce this division for now just so we can change it later on and i think now it's working perfectly okay so i'm going to increase the pressure even more i think the 10 is enough but the problem that we have right now is the pressure is not big enough to you you can say inflate overall so how we are going to fix this now the first thing we, what we have to do is check how the collision is happening on the overall surface here so i'm going to select my cloth here first i'm going to hit three on my keyboard and in the overall cloth here we are going to go into a collision and click on collision thickness so as you can see the thickness is overall too much on this so i'm going to reduce the thickness to until it intersects with you so this is our cloth basically if i make this zero you can see our overall polygon here so i'm going to make this to point 10 maybe just uh, point zero 10 actually all right so this is good enough so now it will recognize the overall collision perfectly and then we have the self collision thickness which i think is going to be perfect we can reduce this if you want select this the overall polygon here and now if we can see this the overall movement here right about there you can see the overall collision thickness i'm going to keep it to 0.100 i think that will be good enough for us and i'm going to do the same with this guy i'm going to go to collision thickness here and i'm going to make sure it's not kind of if we go to point 0.2 as you can see it gets broader and broader so you have to understand how much your thickness with the polygon is kind of intersecting so i'm going to make this 0 0.01 and i think that should be fine i'm going to turn this off all right so once that has been done and we are good to go so the next thing that we have to do is how we can control this pressure so right now what we have is uh, if you go to a dynamic properties you have all this cloth properties and here you will see stretch resistance which basically means how much is going to resist towards the stretchness so i'm going to reduce this so it's going to stretch even more so the lower you go the more stretchy your cloth is going to be so now you see something like this i can go to something like a five and then you have something like this so the next thing i'm going to do is probably change the overall mass of this cloth here because the more mass you have that means more heavier it is for example instead of cloth if i make this 100 it will be probably around like a concrete kind of surface so i'm going to make the mass to maybe like 0.2 here and i'm going to play this so now as you can see it's inflating even more because the mass has been reduced so low that the cloth is literally very thin so the next thing that we do understand that we see here is the cloth kind of instantly inflates. So I'm going to slow this down by simply increasing the drag amount to something like 0.1 or maybe let's go for 1. And now you see something like this. You can keep increasing the drag until you are satisfied with the overall result and that will just slow down the overall thing. So this looks pretty good to me. Uh, you probably know about the cloth. The more subdivisions you have the less or you can say the more good looking your cloth is going to be so i'm going to select this guy over here and i'm going to increase the divisions on this to three and now if we take a look now you can see something like this so you have more inflation going on because the polygon can react to the overall collision because we have more subdivisions now so the inflation is too much on this i'm going to go back here and uh, i'm going to reduce my pressure to something like maybe a five Okay, so this looks pretty good to me and I'm going to make the overall timeline to something like maybe a 35. I think that should be enough for us and then we can cast this again. So I'm going to reduce the pressure to 4 and I think this much inflation is good enough for me. So once we have cast this, we can select any number of frame we want, how much inflation we want and we can render that as an abstract. So I'm going to increase one more segment and I'm going to increase the division on this as well. So let's go to this and I'm going to increase the protonic subdivision to four. So we have more subdivision. You can also do one thing is you can pretty much go to your cloth shape and from here you can pretty much select any preset that you want. For example, your cloth is a silk object. So you can create a silk material if you want 
or you can create a t-shirt totally depends on you so i'm going to keep it to default for now because this is just for the viewing purpose and i'm going to select my cloth here i'm going to go to my end catch create new catch and an object and i'm going to say replace existing and i'll see you after the catch all right so our catch has been done and we have some issues the first thing is uh, viewing this so right now what we see is the uh, the overall pressure is too much on this but the overall look is pretty good we can see some wrinkles and everything going on the pressure is a bit too much and the next thing that we see is the collision uh, right now the passive collider and the cloth is colliding to each other so to fix this i'm going to reduce my pressure to one first and the next thing i'm going to do here is basically increase the amount of friction to one and the stickiness to 0.5 i'm going to do the same with this i'm going to increase the friction to 0.5 and stickiness to 0.5 and from here i'm going to select my cloth i'm going to end catch delete the catch and i'm going to create a new catch again all right so the catch has been done and the overall look is pretty amazing we don't see any intersection going on with with our cloth and the overall passive collider here now if i play this again you can see the overall drag is slowing this down the value that we change so if you reduce this the overall pressurization will be much quicker if you want a pretty smooth or slow animation you can keep increasing this if you want a slow animation so by increasing the drag amount as we can see we can see slow moving animation going on and this looks pretty good so i think this is overall good to go we can select any number of frame that we want and we can render this out so if i go to my ipr here and uh, for the shading purpose i didn't do much for the shading all i did was create a simple default material like an unsand surface and add a bit of a ceramic here and for the rim here i'm going to create a new material stand surface and you can go for maybe a gold and if you play this now you have something like this so this looks pretty amazing this looks pretty good so you can create some amazing stuff with the overall pressurization and some abstract looking so right now we have a pretty cool looking rim overall on the design here and that is exactly the reason why i choose a platonic instead of sphere so you can do pretty amazing thing with this and uh, play around with this create something out of it and play around with different primitive how you can play around with this and if you create something out of it let me know show me i'll be happy to see your work and i'll see you in the next one